Hello, and welcome to DataStax Developers. My name is Ranjit, and I'm a data architect with DataStax. Today, we're here to discover the power of Document API by performing queries and passing field parameters in the request to retrieve sub-documents or fragments of documents efficiently. The database in use is AstroDB, which is a serverless database offering by DataStax. In the interest of time, we already have loaded over 100,000 JSON documents in the Astro database. For the purpose of demonstration today, I will use Postman, which is a third-party API testing tool. Here is a document retrieved from Astra database using document API get request against an ID. This document contains 360 degree view of an airline customer. The full JSON document has several sub documents, such as contact sub document containing address and contact information fields, flight history subdocument, which is further split into domestic and international subdocument objects. Let's begin by querying for all customer documents in a collection. Notice the GET request, and it has no document ID in its path. Now, in order to search the entire collection, but fetch just a fragment of all documents, such as email address fields, then we simply modify the GET request path using fields parameter, and here is the get request to do that. Let's try the get request in Postman. Notice the fields parameter has been added, and we are making an API call to retrieve just the email field from the contact sub document that we're interested. Likewise, if we were interested in retrieving just the contact address and the field history, uh, the flight history fields, my apologies, in a single get request, in other words, fields from two sub documents at different levels, then we could modify to what's seen in the slide right now. Let's switch to Postman to quickly view this uh, using document API. Here's the API call that we just saw in the slide that we added into our GET request, which allows us to now make a call to two sub documents and retrieve fields at different levels. And here's the result as expected. Notice that this is obviously producing or providing all the documents from within this collection. In all the queries we see the number of results are based on a page size. Document API supports pagination using a page state as a query parameter, you can advance the cursor by one page. Simply use the current page state value in the get request 
and it automatically takes you to the next page of results. Let's take a look at it, how this works. Let's use the same example. We know that we are limited by a page size in the query. So in order for us to look at the next page of results, we now introduce a page state and we copy the value of the current page state to get to the next page. So here is the next page of results. And likewise, we can use the new page state or the new current page state to continue navigating through the entire result set. All right, let's look at some specific airline customer related or airline industry related examples or scenarios. Assuming as an airline company, you're looking for a specific fragment of documents based on a filter criteria then this can also be achieved. Let's say we were looking to collect feedback from customers about a new baggage check-in experience. We can start by fetching just the email address field for all customers in a collection that checked in at least one bag. You can see the get request with the where query parameter on your screen for reference. Let's try this query real quick using Document API. So we are looking for, looking to retrieve email addresses based on a filter criteria. And here we go. So the filter criteria is all the customers that checked in at least one bag. So this is greater than zero. So anything greater than zero, we're definitely interested in all those customer email addresses for our survey. In a case where an airline customer decides to change the destination of the flight booked, Assuming the airline policy could offer the flexibility to make the changes on the same ticket, we can quickly update the miles accrued based on the new destination without having to update the entire document. The patch request allows for making a change to a specific sub-document field or a document field directly. The example is provided on your screen. Let's take a working, uh, let's take a look at a working example using document API. Notice that in this case, if when I retrieve the document, I know that my miles earned for this customer, uh, where the customer has taken a domestic flight is 700. Assuming the same customer makes a change to their trip and based on the new destination, if the miles accrued were 880 miles, then we go ahead and update just the miles earned field uh, from within the flight history followed by the domestic sub document. And by making this API patch call, or patch API call, which is part of the document API. We can now update the same customer or a field from the same customer. Let's go back and perform a quick get request on the same customer to verify the change. There we go. The change has now been confirmed. Let's take another example. In a case where an airline 
customer uh, decides to cancel a ticket, the airline can remove a specific flight from the history of the customer document. And this can be done by specifying the index value or the position value in a subdocument array. The delete call is presented on your screen. Let's take a look at a working example using document API. I'll use a different customer for this example. And this is the customer that I'll be using. And we know that this customer has multiple domestic flights that they've taken, which is why you're seeing multiple uh, entries or elements under the domestic subdocument array. And now, if the customer has canceled the latest flight, which was taken on the 30th of September, and if the airline would like to remove this flight from history for obvious reasons, then we can now perform a delete action onto a, a specific index value at the subdocument level. So in this case, we are providing the ID of the document followed by the, uh, the flight history and the domestic subdocument object name. And then in the end, we provide the index value of the element that we would like to get rid of. So by making this call and going back to the same, uh, going back to the same document and doing a refresh on the get request, we now see just one single domestic entry under the flight history for the customer. Thank you. Please subscribe to Datastax developers for more such content and regular updates.